perfect beauties. My name is Daisy Jing. I am the CEO and founder of Banish and the original gal on this YouTube channel. And oh my God, you guys, today is the day I have been pushing this video off. It is literally like two in the morning because I'm just like so excited. I just didn't know how to like channel it in and it's finally time. So you guys, we are launching a brand new banisher. It is completely ours. We have patents on it. I and my team have given feedback on it, but it was literally my thought, my vision put on paper. And we've been working on this for two and a half years. It has taken so long to make this creation alive and it is finally now being born. And I feel like there have been so many people involved in this process, so many back and forths. I have so many different 3D prints and samples, which I will show you, but it has just been a crazy journey. And you guys, I am the world's most critical person. I would say that is my best strength and my worst strength. I'm very critical when it comes to everything, which means that everything that we deliver at Banish is so well thought of and runs so smoothly because every little piece in our company is a well-oiled machine. But at the same time, it's not very good for my personal life. But that being said, when we were trying to figure out different products in terms of like skincare products, we've tried over a hundred different samples from different labs, chemists, formulators. And I will share with you in this five gallon pail bucket, is full of product samples and you can just see even in here like products products i don't know what's going on with this product it's like obviously it's not something we decided to go with but i'm so so picky when it comes to everything i was like no we cannot have this ingredient we cannot have this ingredient but it needs to feel like this touch like this be like this all this kind of stuff so i basically have said no to a lot of different products and i think it would be easier for us take something out there, put our name on it, sell it. But to me, if it's not something I personally would use, it's not something I would do. Just a little bit background about Banish for you guys who are completely new. I started the company in October of 2013. I've had this YouTube channel since about 2009, 2010. And I started this channel because I've had acne and I've developed scarring and I've developed all sorts of weird skin problems, but scarring is really my main thing. Every single time I get a pimple, I get tons of scars on my face. I am literally the scar face queen. And blessing in disguise, I found about microneedling in 2013 through a plastic surgeon. I didn't find it through a YouTube video. I didn't find it through, you know, reading stuff online. It was really not well known back then. Like nobody knew about microneedling. Very few people even thought the concept was like, okay, for even um, dermatology use, but at home use was kind of like a weird, crazy thing. So I did a video of me with microneedling. I showed the before and after results on my skin and immediately like it blew off, it took off. And I really credit and I do believe that Banish is a huge major contributing factor of why microneedling is so popular nowadays. You see so many people selling microneedling, derma rollers, all that kind of stuff. And while Banish, we did not invent the concept of microneedling, we take no credit for it. The fact that my channel and sharing with you guys like how to use it and all that kind of stuff in the before and after in 2013 really sparked this frenzy of you know people using derma rollers and microneedling that's great microneedling has been around um, i believe since the 80s 90s and early 2000s it was pioneered by a plastic surgeon dr fernandez but it wasn't really popular for at home use because you know to get into the consumer's mind of putting needles on your face like nobody would want to do it and because of you know people like me sharing my story about how it has affected and changed my skin it has gotten really really popular it has made my skin better and i will continue to use it and i continue to see results and i absolutely love it i'm really really happy that something like microneedling i truly believe in it it has changed my skin more than any other thing i've used and i've used 
everything. I'm so glad that the Banish Kit has helped so many people with their skin, has given them their confidence back, and we truly stand behind every single product we launch. So we're not gonna just launch something. We're gonna really take our time and figure out, is this something that Daisy, the founder, the owner, the starter of Banish, like, would she actually use it? And a lot of times I'm not gonna use products out there. For example, sheet masks. People have said, you know, we, we, we want you to sell them, blah, blah, blah. It's just not something I use. It's not something I believe in. Let's move on, okay? The Banisher. There's nothing wrong with the Banisher roller or the Banisher pen stamp. Again, I think they're two really great products and I'm super critical. So anytime I see an opportunity for improvement, I want to improve on something. People have always asked me, Daisy, do you like to use the Banisher roller? Do you recommend the Banisher pen stamp? I actually always recommended people the pen stamp and the pen stamp is always my favorite go-to product. Why is it? I don't know, I just found, found myself in my bathroom counter and when preparing to do a treatment, I would just reach for the pen stamp and I would just do that. I don't know why. It was just this like intuitive thing that I wanted to use. And then I realized it was because I liked how easy the pen stamp was to use. I liked how I could just target wherever it was I needed to treat the scarring. So I have scarring on my temples. I've always had scarring here. I don't know why they want to come here. And then I have scarring right here. But I don't have scarring all over my face. And I think for most people, you're not gonna have scarring like all over your face. You're gonna have it usually on your cheeks, your temples, in those areas. And I felt like the pen stamp was more effective at targeting those areas. I could just target those areas, take a, you know 20 seconds to stamp my face, put the banish oil on and call it a night, right? I didn't wanna go back and forth with the roller and kind of like press hard on my skin and create almost tram track scarring. I always felt like the roller, I didn't know if I was pressing hard enough or not enough. And I also felt like the roller was irritating my skin more so than using the pen stamp. The reason why I wanted a stamper versus a new roller is because sometimes when I would roll along my cheekbones, and I do have scarring on my cheekbones, I would get some tram track on my cheeks, redness throughout the following day, and I didn't like that. And it is because when you're rolling the roller back and forth so many times, you can create irritation on the skin. When you're rolling something across your face, so for example, let's say this is like the roller, right? And this is a needle on the roller. When it hits your skin, Skin, it's gonna scoop it like that and it's going to cause a micro tear in your skin of course you do want like little holes in your skin because that's the whole point of micro needling but you don't want it to like scoop your skin out so for example when you're using the banisher roller and the needles are hitting at different angles of your skin okay this is a terrible drawing but you know it's gonna scoop so that way the the holes in here are like more like this they're like little cones underneath your skin. And that's more damaging to your skin than if you were to use like a stamper based product where you have all these needles and okay, trust me, they are all perpendicular. I just can't draw straight lines. And then the little channels in your skin will be very, very small and straight down. So this will be a lot less damaging to your skin than this one. So that's really why I wanted to create a stamper versus a roller. Another device that has been super popular in the medical community is derma pen and derma stamping. And if you go to a plastic surgeon's office, they usually offer something like derma pen. And what they do is they take really long needles and they stamp on your face. And then they usually put PRP or copper peptides or you know something really advanced and put that on your face. Something that you cannot do at home so don't don't do that stuff at home the needles are really really long but they they use a stamp to do that they don't use a roller then the other question became in terms of yeah i love using the banisher pen stamp but i do wish it was a little bit larger of an area i want it to be the area where it's not too big where it's like clunky on your face but it's not too small where i have to literally like take the time to press every little single thing. So I wanted to increase the area of the surface to be a little bit larger. And then 
I also wanted to increase the quality of the needles. I thought, is there a way we can make the needles better quality? Can we use a different material? Can we make them sharper, finer? So that way, when it goes into the skin, it'll pierce the skin, but just very, very microscopically, like very, very, very tiny wise, right? I found other, like for example, other companies that were claiming to sell something similar, just having really bulky and badly made needles on their product. And then also, you guys know I travel a ton and I would always leave the band kit in my suitcase and I would put it in my backpack and all that kind of stuff but I was like is there a way for me to just throw in a product like a banisher throw it in keep the rubbing alcohol inside this container and travel with it not have to bring a whole bucket of rubbing alcohol through TSA and all that and can I just bring it one piece drop it in my bag drop it in my backpack drop it in my little carry-on and be good to go. So those were the things I wanted to change about what we currently had. There were also, after 2013, a lot of copycat, people replicating Banish, and we've had to file against them. But yeah, there's just people making inferior products, people you know, scraping data on different websites and being like, hey, this thing called this roller thing is selling well, let's make our own version. And unfortunately, you have to be really careful about the quality you're using and you're selling because honestly, the price point these people were selling their product at I was like how are you making money because obviously if we were to do that we would not be in business so the way they're making them the materials they were making them out of were just not good and I think it's so important to distinguish authentic products versus not and so I just wanted to create something that was really really unique to what Banish is known for what our brand is known for high quality ingredients we're super super picky you guys know my story i'm allergic to everything nothing works for me except the pure ingredients and i will only sell things on vanish that actually work for me and actually work when developing this product and i will put like sketches of stuff we started it in 2016 and that's when we first started developing the product basically when you are manufacturing a product it's so different than manufacturing skincare when you're manufacturing skincare you can tell you know the lab or the chemist or the formulator add more of this add more of that add more of this you can make different batches when you're formulating an actual product there's something called a mold that they make it based off of you really need to make sure your mold is set if you mess up on your mold, you have to start all over again. There's no way you can really chip away at it or add new things to it. It's a huge, I think it's like 500 or 1,000 pound steel mold that they make these products from. And so you cannot mess it up. CAD artists and engineers to really shape the mold and make it so that way you can get the product that you want. Yeah, this is our first like 3D print kind of product. You can tell the idea is great and this is kind of the concept that it was based off of. The lid and the cap just didn't fit on quite right, but this was the first version and for whatever reason I said yeah let's make 10,000 of these units or let's make a lot of these units and uh, it didn't it didn't work out so you can see this is one of the first units of the product the lid would always start cracking and interestingly enough when you put in alcohol and they're rubbing alcohol in there the lid would start to shatter and that is because the material of the lid wasn't sturdy enough to handle like the chemical composition of the alcohol. So that was also an issue that we had. Also, just snapping this on and off didn't work as well. Okay, and so this was another version. You can tell when we developed it, it didn't have any needles on here. I'll just give you another example of a stamper that also has that. So that failed and that was a huge loss. And it's a huge loss because you have to throw away all that inventory that you initially purchased plus all the shipping fees, plus you have to start over with a new mold. So then I hired a different product designer and we were working so many times on really trying to figure out this cap lid situation. And we have a patent and we have a patent in several different countries on this. So if you wanna copy this, we're going after you. So I can share with this now because it took a long time to create, but this is one of our like first 3D molds. I think I have like 25 of these just between my house and uh, my office and, and my car. I have so many of these because I'm always like trying and tweaking and doing different things. This was one of the molds we had. We tried doing something like this, which is a threading around the cap. 
So we did these molds without the needles in them and we were trying to figure out how in the world are we gonna be able to fill this with the alcohol and then cap and screw it on and then be able to use this to clean the needles. And you think it's so easy, but it's actually not because when you screw this on, there gets to be an air bubble like this one. There becomes an air bubble. And you think, okay, well, to fix this, Daisy, add more water. Do I have any water? I have coffee. Should I add some coffee in here? Let me just add some coffee in here. That way you can see this better. Okay, so let's say this is your alcohol. You can see this, it's not pee, it's coffee. So you're gonna put this in here. Oh, it's going to, it's definitely gonna overflow. See, it's gonna flow and it's gonna make a mess everywhere. And the whole point of creating this was so that way when you travel with it, you can just throw it in your bag and you're good to go. And you can also see there is an air bubble, right, where the needles would be. So obviously this design is not gonna work because first it's leaking and second, there's an air bubble. So we tried all different kinds. We tried to widen the cap, we tried to narrow it, we tried to create different etches around the cap. I really wanted it to have some kind of etching around. We tried it with this thing, which I don't think this works either. Let's see. It was literally like the first, like 2018 was me, like filling caps up both coffee and like testing for leakage. Okay, so this one also doesn't work. This is gonna leak. Yep, it's gonna leak. But if we pour less of it, will it work? Let's see. Ah, see, it keeps leaking. And the reason why this keeps leaking, you guys, is because when you screw on something, there needs to be an air bubble. And then the um, something about the pressure of the product in which the water will or the liquid will overflow and go through the threads of the product. So it was kind of this going back and forth, really testing, can we actually do this where you have a screw on cap? And it has to be screw on cap because if it's not gonna be screw on cap, it's it's not gonna be something you can throw in your bag and like run around in, you know? So I was looking at so many different products. I was looking at even a hose, you know, like hose that connect and then screw on together, trying to figure out, you know, how these things work. Is there a way we could have something that screws on that will also clean the, the cap, but there will be no air bubble? Because if there's an air bubble, um, it's not going to clean the stamper thing. And so what we came up with was a design where basically the outside of it is larger than the inside. It kind of chamfer out, so that way there's room for the air bubble to go on the sides. In this case, this was one of the closer ones we got to. It goes like this. And you can see it doesn't really leak. The air bubble is along the sides, but it will still clean the needle of the product. Then we decided to create a fill line so that way you guys would know where to fill the alcohol to. But in the test of our fill line with the cap, a lot of times the alcohol would rub off the fill line. So we decided to manufacture it where it's engraved on the cap. But you can see this was one of our versions. The fill line is on here. We realized we can't have a fill line because it's gonna scrape off. So this is what we came up with. It's this banisher here. There is the fill line right here. It's perfect if you fill it up to this line, it's not gonna spill or leak. So let me share with you guys right now what it looks like. So I'm gonna fill it with coffee. You don't need to use that much alcohol. Okay, so it's to the fill line, you guys can see. And then all you gotta do is take it and screw it on and it cleans the banisher. And you can see it doesn't leak. You could throw it you know, in your purse or whatnot. And then you can see there is still the air bubble because it's right here. But when you put it this way down where the fill line is, it will clean the needles of this contraption. And then also what I love is when you wanna use it, you can take it out, you just tap it here and then you stamp it on your face and then you can just put it back in the alcohol or dump the alcohol. And then I wanted to share with you guys the needles, even though this one has coffee in it, <laughs> which I'll have to rinse off. The needles are titanium. I wanted to keep them titanium, but they are electroplated in 24 karat gold. And gold is something I wanted to use because gold helps firm the skin. It helps build collagen and elastin fibers. And it's really great for 
creating like cell growth and like firmer and more elastic skin. That's why you see those gold masks and all that kind of stuff is super, super popular. So that's what I wanted. And if you can compare the needles side by side with like our first version, which it was just a pure sample, the needles are a lot finer. If you compare them with the banisher needles, the needles are a lot finer and they're more like pointy and sharp than they are in the original like banisher roller. I knew I wanted something that looked like a missile, a rocket, a spaceship kind of thing because I think it's really important. The whole theme of Banish is this brand where we're gonna be behind with you. We're gonna be fighting and conquering any kind of negative thoughts and energies that you have. So um, I really wanted it to be dominant to be mm, like artillery, like missiles and bullets and all that military kind of stuff. Like that was always the vision I had with Banish. We've just gone through a lot of different iterations of the product and so cool to learn so much about, you know, manufacturing and making products and molds and all this stuff because it takes two and a half years. It's not something that happens overnight and it takes a lot of money because every mold is, you know, in the five figure range, hiring product designers is also very expensive going back and forth and creating 3d prints each 3d prints 100 150 dollars so you know it, it does become very expensive over time super super excited to have this this is limited edition this is perfect for the holidays and although it has taken us two and a half years we're still getting feedback and we still want to improve the product so please let us know what kind of feedback you have but it has been a work in the making and i'm so proud of how far we have come along to create this product because this really is what Banish is about. You can put this standalone on your bathroom counter, you can throw it in your purse or your suitcase or whatever. And it really, you know, not only is it a tool that you're going to be used in your weekly routine, it really, to me, symbolizes, you know, what Banish is all about. Banish is all about being confident in your skin, not, not worrying about, you know, having imperfections or not worrying about if you have scars on your face or pimples because it's, it's not about being perfect, right? It's about being who you are. And I try to emphasize that to banish internally, to banish externally, to the customers of banish, but more so it's really important to me, for me to tell myself that it's not about perfection, it's about progress, it's about, you know, how can I improve every day? How can I be more like me every day? Instead of how can I be more like her or this person or this person that society is telling me that is beautiful or whatnot. And so the look and the feel of Vanish has changed in 2018. I'm so excited. The new jars, the new look, everything has changed. The core concept of Vanish, you know, using microneedling, creating really good skincare products that are natural, that don't have certain ingredients that make me personally break out and that actually work. That's why I really am so proud of Vanish and what we've come today and just the amount of work it has taken in these two and a half years. I know other manufacturers, um, they've told me, how about we add LED lights or you know, light therapy or vibration or whatever. And I was like, no, we're not gonna add that. You know, to me, it's not something I use. I don't, I don't use vibrating stuff on my face. I just don't think it has an effect on me. And so that's why I said, no, I'm gonna stick with the core concepts, natural ingredients, you know, vitamin C, azorbic acid, and microneedling. That is really what I believe in. And so this is how Banish is improving. So we're not gonna sell something that is kind of gimmicky, that, you know, it looks cool, but really has no effect on the skin. That is not what I'm about because that is really what harmed my skin, right? back then. So I want to thank each and every single one of you for supporting me in this journey, whether it has been being a customer, being a YouTube follower, being part of the Banish Lives, or, you know, interacting with any of our Banish Warriors. Like I want to thank all of you guys for being a huge part of this journey. And I'm actually very grateful for the scars on my face and all the stuff I have because without going through that experience, I wouldn't have been able to create you know, the Banish kit and the Banish system, which has helped so many people feel more confident in who they are. And so thanks to all you guys, I'm able to continue my journey. And I'm so excited to see what is gonna happen to Banish in the next five, 10, 20 years, cause it's, it's such an exciting journey and happy five year anniversary to Banish as well. I would have never thought in a million years, this would be my life. And you know, it's so weird. My biggest, biggest insecurity has always been my skin and because of that I have been able to create you know a thriving business positively impacting so many people's lives for the better and making them 
feel like they can be who they are, the way they are. And I think that's so, so important. Thank you all so, so much for watching and supporting me and Banish team throughout these five crazy years. And don't forget, we're gonna be giving away five of these banishers in our banished kit. So we're gonna be giving five of them away. So read in the description box what exactly that entails. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great holiday and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.